hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i just want to share with you this quick little video on tiktok and there's this somali guy who's talking to this chinese fisherman in muktisho port i will show you the clip and then i will discuss it further now before we get started please remember to subscribe like share and comment thank you very much hola, hola, hola. Mm. As you saw there, there's multiple Chinese fishing uh, vessels there. And this guy went into one of them and then he started to make jokes about this guy's ethnicity and the way Chinese people speak. Now, I don't condone that. It's a bit racist to be perfectly honest with you. But the reality is that this man came to Muktisho, came to our seas to take our fish. They don't pay any taxes on it. They don't have any rules or regulations. We don't even know how much fish is there taken out daily from our seas. And we are reduced into the situation where all we can do is make jokes about their ethnicity. What kind of nonsense is this? There's a famine going on in some parts of Somalia and people are dying of hunger. Meanwhile, foreigners are coming and stealing our fish, stealing our food, stealing our natural resources for nothing. I'm not sure if they paid some politician a little bit of uh, money, but... I doubt they even did that, because the reality is that there is no proper policing. There's no one that is controlling this situation. There's no one who is going around seeing that people are not taking our fish, people are not stealing our natural resources. Isn't it about time that we realize that pickering and petty arguments are not going to bring us anything? Our leaders are fighting over who gets to be president. President of what? What are you presiding over? None of any of these leaders have any solutions to our problems. None of them is, are going to bring us any closer to proper functioning government. Our politicians are perfectly happy with the situation. Our people are dying. Our fishes are being stolen. We just lost some of our seas to Kenya in the court battle. What is this nonsense? When will we wake up and realize that you know what? Maybe we should maybe we should think about how we can utilize what we have instead of allowing foreigners to take our shit while we are fighting each other. It makes no sense. And it's sad that they can steal our fish not in night time. In a broad daylight, they are stealing our fishes. They are coming into our ports. There is absolutely no one who is controlling this situation. There is absolutely no one who even cares about this situation. And our people are forced to just make jokes about people's ethnicity because that's all we can do. That's how powerless we have become. And this video is just sad. It's, it's truly saddening situation. I don't even know. There are no words for this. And as long as we are allowing our politicians to continue in this way where we are not demanding anything of them, we just are demanding that our politicians be from certain tribe, but we are not demanding anything of them. As long as they are one of us, we are allowing them to do whatever they want. And this is the end result. Isn't it about time that we stop this nonsense? We start thinking about what we're going to do with our fish, what we're going to do about oil, about our gas, about our all the other resources, about our land, about our farming land. All of it is being mis mismanaged. We are suffering losses on a daily basis. And as long as we're continuing on this road, someday it might be too late. When we wake up, there might be no fishes left. So it's today or never. Because soon enough, it will be too late. And I fear that our people are going to wake up when it's too late. Now, I just wanted to rant a little bit. And uh, please remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you very much.